Hello there, I'm Jesse Culver, go by Wasmere Online, and today I'm going to talk to you about what the Source Engine Storybook is. So, the Source Engine Storybook is a mod that is um, a fork of Blix Blixabon. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, he made a great um, like uh, version of Source that's focused on mapping, and I really liked like, what he was doing with it, but there were certain things that I thought could be done differently and I didn't want to just start straight up like making pull requests that really went against what he intended um, that mod to be. Um, you should definitely check it out. His mod's called uh, MapBase. It's really great. Um, he just had a recent update for it that changed some more stuff, add some stuff, fix some stuff. It's really cool. Um, his is more about though making, helping people make standalone mods better. Um, my, the, the purpose of the Source Engine Storybook, in contrast, is about making it easier for people to make just single levels or miniature, like mini Half-Life 2 campaigns. So, I'm um, just gonna boot it up really quick here. I mean, like that's like kind of like the long story short of like what the purpose of this is. Is I just wanted a system that was easy for people to just make maps for and distribute them for other people to play or their friends to play because. Trying to get my friends to like, uh, it like has come enable. to my attention that some have yeah, lately called me a collabor. Um, but yeah, getting like people to download like individual maps and then like load them into Half Life Two was kind of a pain because no one like besides like actual people who know like what they're doing, they don't really want to like mess with like the uh, console here. And I just remembered I disabled this for. Purposes. Um, but yeah, no one wanted to like come in here and like be like tell them like, yeah, you need to like you know open up your console and type in map, um, Discord. What do I call it? Yeah, they didn't want to like come in here and like open up and be like, yeah, I need you to you know like type in the map name and be, like figure all that out. Like that, that's that's a pain. Like no one wants to do that. So I wanted an easier system for doing that with. Um, and I wanted to also like provide like other quality of life features to people making maps, like give them like like maybe gameplay changing things that are optional opt in. So like for example, like regenerating health, like that's something that I have in the works that I'm working on, is giving people like an option, like oh well you can change in like your map settings with, through an entity, like well in, in this map I want like the player to regain health when they take damage after like X seconds at this rate. So things like that, um, it's it, it's like I started like something similar to this like a long time ago, but it never really took off anywhere. It was kind of originally for Gary's mod because that seemed like where everyone was kind of doing some like the small more like niche like like single player focused mapping stuff at the time, and I think that was kind of because it was so easy to distribute maps through Gary's mod's uh, workshop. But then I started playing around more with like normal, just like 2013, and I came across like this really cool. Um, let me just here. Let me just end this map real quick. But yeah, and then I, I was playing around with it, and I was revisiting some of the um, older games like Portal, and I realized like, oh, there's like that whole system right for like what they call like challenge maps, and that's still in like base 2013. You just have to kind of like fiddle with it a bit to get it to show up and like properly display and all that. So I went ahead and like cleaned that up and added some new text and stuff so it didn't just like scream like portal everywhere. And I like playing around with it more like I realized like oh you can easily make like an entire like add-on system kind of where it's like okay so like I have like my demo maps here and I'm just gonna keep adding more demo maps to this and then people can just download just that add-on and if I add anything to like the demo maps or something like that that's like content that's like restricted sort of to that set of maps that way if in the future they're like well i don't want these demo maps anymore they can like get rid of them without having to like go through all their individual files and like pick out all my textures and models and sounds and stuff that i added um so yeah no it's i mean like that's kind of like the long story short it's just like i just wanted to add a easy to use modding system for mappers that just want to make like maybe like one map maybe two maps like just to give to their friends they didn't want to go through the process of like compiling and like building it or like messing with like main menu and like 
localization strings and all that. So I wanted to take care of the hard part and just give mappers the ability just to make maps like pretty fast, like just like have fun with it and then like just distribute them. Um, you know, just like the easy stuff. So yeah, that about does it. Um, if you have suggestions for the mod, I'm all ears. Uh, just like either like shoot me a DM on Discord or like just like I don't know send me an email. I'll have my email address listed here, I guess. Uh, or you know what, big better is like just make an issue request on the GitHub. Um, you can get to that. Let me pull it up here. Uh, this one. It's right here. If you just do GitHub.com/slash/Jesse-Culver/slash/SourceEngineStoryBook, you'll get this. Um, you can check out like what commits have recently happened. Whoa, my voice is there. You can check out what uh, what commits have recently happened. Um, I'll put it eventually. I'll add the releases here. That way you can grab like the latest version. I am working on putting together like a mod DB page as well as like a standalone website for it. Um, but yeah, this is just like a mod that I wanted to make just to make mapping easier for everyone because it seems like no one these days is like really doing a lot of half-life 2 mapping or single player mapping in general and that's kind of a shame because like there's a lot of like really fun stuff to do there um i've seen some really cool like small maps come out that i was like i was like oh that's really neat um but like convincing people to try them out is a pain because they're like well can i install it through steam you go not really you kind of have to like go download it and then yeah no it's a, it's a huge pain so yeah no that's uh, eventually i would like to get this on steam at some point um maybe set up the workshop system there that way it's a lot easier but yeah, I just wanted to make a mod that was uh, fun for people to make single player maps for and not have to stress about you know putting together a whole entire mod. Um, I do read like all the comments that come out on the uh, videos. And I do know like one of the main complaints I keep seeing over and over again is, oh man, I really don't want to download Visual Studio. I really don't want to go through this like 30 minute process of compiling just so I can make a small like map pack or like miniature camp like it, it was like i understand it's like ridiculous for like some smaller projects so i kind of wanted to like get rid of that hurdle for people that way they could just make work on making the fun part which is the maps for them um as far as like actual like gameplay changing things go uh, i think i i am looking at adding other things like maybe adding some of the like like I, at some point I would like to change it so that you could like opt into like Counter-Strike source content so that, you know, if you want to, if you have Counter-Strike source installed, it'll like register that you have it installed. That way you can actually use like the Counter-Strike source, like weapons or textures or models, that kind of stuff. But, um, that's like a long road right now. Um, I have like a list. I'll probably put up my Trello link at some point that I have everything listed out on so people and check in on the progress there is like what's in the works. But yeah, um, I think that's gonna do it for now. Um, if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment here, I guess. Um, oh, right now we do have a contest going on over on the Discord. Pull up the image here. Uh, here we go. Yep, it's just like, it's gonna run till the end of the month. Um, it's a, just a short contest. Um, just be my gravity gun. Probably gonna try and do one of these kind of contests if there if there's like an interest in them like every month or so, maybe like every two months, maybe every three months, depending on like interest rate and like all that, you know? Cause I don't wanna like just keep like churning them out. Cause I've seen that happen before where like you do like a contest like every month and people just get burned out and they don't wanna do them anymore. So I probably am gonna space them out a bit. But yeah, if you wanna do just a quick contest, uh, it's just a quick map, like map or maps, I guess. If you do up to three, part of your like little pack there. Uh, the rules are pretty simple. You just make a map using just the gravity gun. Uh, first place gets a $20 Steam gift card. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's we got all the links here, of course. Um, I'll put them here in the uh, video description as well. But yeah, if you're interested, check that out. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing like what people make. Um, I, I know some people have already commented like, oh, this is really cool. Like, I can't wait to make like X, Y, and Z. Um, someone sent me a message the other day and they had like a pretty, they had a pretty cool idea. And I'm, 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 I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it pans out for them because 
it sounded neat um anyway yeah so that's gonna do it for this video i think uh i'll give you an update i guess in the future whenever i make like significant changes to this mod and release a new version so look forward to that i guess um does this mean i guess like the question everyone's gonna ask me is like so what does this mean for like the other videos like those other ones like i know people have been asking me like forever like oh when are you gonna do like a video on like how to add weapons and things like that and then this i'm hoping will help fuel that um, I'm hoping like when I'm making stuff for this, I can also do like side videos like, okay, like I'm adding the AK-47 from Counter-Strike Source. Here's how you can do that also for your mod. Um, this of course won't be really aimed at multiplayer for now. Maybe in the future, uh, depending on how this goes, we I do a multiplayer version. Um, it, it's all up in the air. I, I don't have like the most time in the world. <laughs> So trying to ba trying to juggle both a multiplayer and a single player mod would be kind of hard, um, along with everything else that's going on in my life. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to add more to this. I'm I'm gonna do more little tiny like short videos that you saw maybe come out like yesterday, or depending on when you saw this, it's part of the like what I call the like the storybook videos section playlist, which is just like like here's like in five minutes here's how to do something. So like I want to do one like okay here's how you can set up like the keypad you just saw earlier in the video or like here's how to quickly set up like the Discord one, and basically like I'll put out the video and I'll also put out um, like a demo map as well that'll be included in like the next version or you can just go download the demo maps, uh, add on itself and then put that in so you can see them. Anyway, um, I hope everyone found something useful in this video. I hope it answers some questions about like what this mod is. And I'm looking forward to seeing what people come up with. So until next time, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this now.